on the Max Allotment Podcast. Boys are back in town. Everybody's back. We're in here now with Miniso28 live on YouTube, or not live, presented on YouTube, I guess. I don't know, but that's what, you know. Broadcasted on YouTube. Broadcasted. That's what I was looking for. Broadcasted on YouTube. Uh, we are moving the mini souls from Instagram to YouTube so everybody can, everybody in the world can enjoy it. So, yeah, we're all back. Joe's here. I go by the name of Joe Wonder. This is Hector. Hector's here. Salute to Bruce. El Real Burrito. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so glad this is the episode where everybody can watch uh, so they can see what the hell we're talking about. Yo. And then I'm here. Joe on the Max Allotment mm-hmm. Podcast. Uh, yeah, tell us about this. So, wh- where'd you get that? That so okay. For okay, anybody okay. who's new to the podcast, so many, so many questions. Yeah, we're right. Hector is in love with tortillas and burritos. Like, he's the most Mexican Dominican I've ever met in my life. Yo, why you gotta generalize that? My man, because it. it <laughs> fucking with you. <laughs> <It's> not, <laughs> we, we live in a society of made of glass. So they nah, just- man, but it is what it is. Like, if he loved, you know. Whatever he, you know, he loved Indian food, the most Indian Dominican food, Dominican ever. You know what I mean? Like, what am I tell you? But he loves burritos. My man loves burritos. So it's 110 degrees in New York City, and you have a, a burrito blanket on. Yo, what's going on? <laughs> My AC got me frosty, bro. So I gotta wrap myself up. You know what I'm saying? Oh man. <laughs> Is it warm? Yo, yeah, man, it's good. It's nice little. It's a giant know, tortilla. Comfy yeah. tortilla, man. <laughs> yo, shout out to my brother Tremendo. Yo, Tremendo got me this, man. Tremendo got nice. you that? Hell yeah. It's my brother. Yo, that shit's that hilarious. Man. Listen. Of all the things in this podcast, you've worn all types of glasses, sunglasses. You've worn a whole lion outfit. <laughs> and now you're wrapped in a tortilla. It's good. Stay tuned. Who knows what he's going to wear next? <laughs> that should be the mystery of the week. It's like, what does he got what, next? What's he got? What's he wearing? What's going to wear? Yo, straight burrito. Yo, send requests. Actually, send props in. Oof. <laughs> chill. We got it. We got you. I, I, I'm not. I'm not. I don't know. Like, bed bugs are real and shit like that. I don't. I, mean, I don't you trust people. Mail. I know, but brand new props. Only good. Oh, okay, okay. Shop, Amazon bro. Prime. Amazon. Yeah. yeah. Ain't no use props, bro. Fuck out of here, bro. Fuck <laughs> am, bro. Come on, Salvation Army and shit, my nigga. Recycle, reuse. Don't you ever disrespect me like that, bro. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, listen, we're back. The, the guys are back. Uh, how you guys been? Talk to us. Joe, how's Tennessee? Grenley, how's Texas? Hector, how's the Bronx? Yo, the Bronx is lit, yo. <laughs> hey, tell me more. The Bronx it's is lit. We just, had, we just had the Dominican parade here in the Bronx this the past weekend. Um, despite the good time everybody had, you know, Bronx get lit. You know, we, a lot of Bronx, Bronxians. Bronx Bronxonites, Bronxonites. They like to party and get and get and get ready to fight too. So there was a lot of shenanigans that popped off, man. So sucks for my Dominicans, man. But you know, we we always take shit a little bit too far. So, um, but now nah, you know, we besides that, man, the Bronx is super hot. It's like ninety eight degrees. Humidity is like on one hundred and fifty folk. <laughs> it's just burning eyelids, bro. This shit is disrespectful out here, bro. So bro. burning eyelids. We had facts. We had in Arizona here in Phoenix. We had a precipitation. Uh, sorry, humidity factor of forty degrees after the monsoon, and that shit was killing me. Like I was like, ah, ah, stop, no, get away. Like this got to stop. This, I'm not feeling this. I don't. I don't want this anymore. I'm good. Yeah, okay. 104. Not too big. I think it's in the twenties. The humidity, so it's not that bad. But it's yeah. fucking 104. That's just hot. Yeah, it, it adds. Busy as hell too. So. Whew. But I'm blessed. Yes. I will, I will continue to say that I am blessed. Joe, how is Tennessee, my friend? Tennessee's cool. We are a good 76 degrees. <laughs> nice. Oh, nice. Hell yeah. 76? Yeah. Inside the house or outside? Nah, outside. 
Oh shit! Yeah, nice. It's not a house to have it at seventy. What? But, yeah, man. You one of those guys? Degrees. Huh? <laughs> you one of those guys? You gotta have the AC on no matter what. Yeah. Yeah, yeah bro. Oh, yeah. I mean, and it's not good because it's like you know, my girl gets like the you know she get the chivers, the chivers, the shields, and I'm like, oh, <laughs> the chivers, Los chivers. Yeah, Sixty eight at my house right now. Get the chivers, man. It's, it's, I like sleeping cold. Yo, but it's seventy wow. something, and it's a it's ninety it's ninety four at nine o'clock. Ninety four? Yeah. Right now it's ninety four in my house outside. Yeah, I'm, I'm good. This 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 summer has been a pain in the ass. I'm ready for the sun to be over. Yeah, I'm ready for some fall action. Yeah, Back, yo, that's exactly what I'm ready for. Waiting some fall, some fall. The chivers. Dame some frío. I'm All right. ready for football season. That's what I'm ready for. You know what? I would be, but I get too I get too emotional. And we're not gonna get into that. This is not the conversation for that. We'll, we'll get the, we'll get that later. Give we'll get the, a, a few a few more episodes, you know, we'll, we'll get, get in. Get the, yeah. All right, let's get right into the beer. Um Hector was nice enough to bless us with a nice box of beer. Um uh, nice. so Facts. And we, we are we are all drinking. Well not all of us, but uh Granny, Joe and I are drinking Brunch Crusher from Big Alice Brewing. My light is too bright, and this can is too bright. So let me see if I can get some. Oh. Somebody get a clear picture because I don't think we have. Anyway, okay. right, there it goes. There it goes. Brunch Crusher from Big Alice Brewing. Uh, I've been to both Big Alice locations, right, Hector? Yeah. Okay. Uh, dope spots. I like the brewery. I like the original spot because it got like a little small, you know, round the block feel type of thing you know what i mean i, I dig shit like that um Ooh. so yeah hector what are you drinking since you're the only one we can go around the corn Ooh. on the horn i am drinking other half this is called es 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 escapist daydream escapist escapist daydream escapist daydream like fucking skeeter bro <laughs> this wow. guy anyway you're violent you're violent today <laughs> yo he's his his burrito has been his tortilla has been too long on the stove yo, is what yo. it is yo. Yeah. <laughs> uh, happy with you. anyway this is pretty pretty good eight percent uh for eight percent you get a little you know little uh heat you know in your stomach when it lands like bang you're like oh shit but um very good fruity i feel like it got like it has like pineapple kind of like coconut little lime something like that so it smells uh, straight like a like a like a like a cocktail though like this is not smell like a beer like not fruity at all it smells like straight booze bro i do like the color on it too so i have here i'm looking at the what's this called uh beer advocate page Beer advocate, that beer advocate page, which is which was the original Untap. And go ahead, what's your score, man? Drop it. Um, I'm gonna give this a three. Oh. Okay. Oh, we're gonna go, we're gonna circle back to that for sure. He's setting up the stage, man. That's what he's doing. I like I like it. Painkiller <laughs> cocktail inspired Imperial Berliner Weiss with pineapple, orange, milk, sugar, and coconut. Ah, uh, you see, there we go. You see, I, I was there. Oh, shit, my palate is there. <laughs> but I, is that, but I still, I still what? don't know what the what a painkiller is. I forget what kind of drink that is. I think it's yeah, like I'm looking. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I've never seen painkiller in, in a like in a beer. That's what I'm looking at the letters. I'm like, does it say painkiller? I'm like, no, no, no. Like, you it, you, I, you I, order. Are like, these letters bugging out on me? I'm like, painkiller. What the fuck? But there hey, you go. It's very good beer. Uh, yeah. painkiller is two ounces Pusser's rum, four ounces of pineapple juice. One ounce of orange juice, freshly squeezed. One ounce of coconut cream of coconut and garnish with nutmeg, and that's it. Okay. All right. So if you get if you're getting actually, if you're I'm getting kind of that's that, an actual drink that's that's known. Mm -hmm. So I could go to a bar and be like, let me get a painkiller. Pain <clears throat> yeah, go for it. Now that you heard all the ingredients of an actual painkiller, does your rating stay the same? Yeah, three. Okay. All right. All right, guys, Granny, Joe, other Joe, me. <laughs> what do you guys think of Big Alice's uh, Brunch Crusher? Yeah, tell I me am, what you guys think. I am not a sours guy. You guys know that I've said it all along. 
But this is good. Ah, this is good. I like I gotta, that. I gotta give this to you. It's not sour. It's not like a tart sour that gets you right here. Like I always say that yeah. I hate. This is good. So that's funny get, you say like, that. The, the pineapple can juice at, at the, the front right away, like that. You know, like when you, you open the cans with the pineapple slices, like, like that juice. Do you get that I, up front? I get that. I don't get the tangerine. I get like okay. I get like the but I get the pineapple, but I I do like right it up front. That's that's the, that's the best part of this beer. Like, like you get it right right away. Instead of that like tart sour, mm -hmm. you get like that sweet. Mm -hmm. Then it goes into like the more acidic, you know, edgy, you know, citrusy wave at the end. I love that beer. This, oh, this is, is uh good. this is definitely um, it reminds me of a fruit cup. So what? Know, Ooh, the, the fruit, cups, fruit cup. You know they have they have the mixed fruits yes. in it, and it has some like of the high pineapple, whatever it is. And yes. You get that, yes. That's what it reminds me of. Nice. Um, now I would have never guessed that it contains lactose. And interesting to see that. So that's what that probably is probably what tames a lot of the uh, the sourness, that tart mm -hmm. kick, that Granny's afraid of, or doesn't like whatever Yo, you want to call it. I, yeah, I don't like. I'm not. No, I'm not afraid. Of it. I don't like. It. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. I had no plans to finish this before I even opened it. I said I'm gonna have a little sip. I'm probably not gonna like it, and I'm gonna move on. I'm gonna finish this fucking thing, man. This shit is good. Yeah, man. Throw some rum in there, bro. Some some uh, some bro got there's some bro got in there. <laughs> yeah, why you always gotta do some wild shit, bro? Why you always gotta set somebody up? Bro? He's the one that he's already looking, bro. You see? Rum in the, why would he put rum in, in this beer? Because it's a super. Because you match me in the max today. Hold on, hold on. First of all, <laughs> car bombs, car bombs, sake bombs exist. So this, what's wrong with throwing a little rum in this bitch? You know what I mean? Well, yeah, but those taste good together. No, they don't. You just do that to get fucked up. They don't taste that great. They're not like, oh my god, I'm the craving Irish, the Irish car bomb. Nobody says I'm craving a car bomb. They just do it to get fucked up. Like, yo, I'm gonna get fucked up tonight. I'm doing like five they, car bombs. They, they, Fuck so what I'm saying is they taste pretty good. Nah, I mean, this I think you could throw. You could throw I a little. I'm gonna try that now. <laughs> <laughs> you throw a little splash of some rum in this. I think it'll work out. Yeah. I think you know, like, like, a, like a little, like one shot, it's like spritzer. one ounce. You know what? That might not be a good idea. What about whiskey? You think whiskey will do it? Nah, nah, spritzer. Nah, nah, nah. Not whiskey. I don't. I don't think. No. I mean, you can you can probably make a whiskey sour ish type of taste, but I doubt it. There's no cherries. I got in this. whiskey. Oh, no, I got whiskey right here. I don't know. All right, so let's let's finish this up. Joe, how was your what's your review of the beer? And then what do you think? Talk to us. I like it. It's, it's sour for sure. Out of five, mm -hmm. solid three. Okay. Granley, what's your rating? Three and a half. Hey, damn um, near four. <laughs> well, you just skipped three point seven five once you're to four. <laughs> yeah, I'm telling you, I'm impressed. Um, sours, sours, I don't. I'm telling you, I don't Big buy Big Alice, sours. bro. Big, I like Big Alice. Big Alice has Big Alice is the brewery that has my favorite NYC beer. My favorite, hands down. Oh, the jalapeno. Mm -hmm. Jalapeno, jalapeno rye. rye, and I hate rye, bro. And I love the jalapeno rye beer. I is my favorite spicy beer. No, it's not. That's like a slight kick, but it's more on like on the green side of the pepper. And mm -hmm. it, it, it like mellows down like the rye. The <laughs> astrogen see from the rye gets the pepper kicks that down. And it's just a well balanced beer at seven percent. I love that beer. So Jalapenos? shout out to my guys in Big Alice. Shout out to John the Brewer Bites, the, the head brewer from there. Shout out to staff, to Cassie, and all my guys out there, man. You already know, so love. Big All Alice, right. my guys. So, my review of this beer, as it warms up, it does get a bit of a tartness to it, which is okay. Um, like I said, I'm getting a lot of fruit cup taste to it, which is cool. I don't feel like if I drink two of these, I'm gonna feel bloated and it's like fucking like like I can't I can't do anything. So if I drink two of these, I feel comfortable, like it's not bad. Um, I probably wouldn't do more than two. I'm sticking with the. Uh, Three and a half sounds all right. That's what, what can I say? Three and a half. Yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'll give it a three and a half myself, man. It's yeah, this is, this is good. This is solid. Like, you could kick a few of those back because they like the, the body's so light. Mm -hmm. And it's like when it's very, very cold, it's like so refreshing. Like, oh, man. That's what I was, the word I was going to say, refreshing. Because it's like one of those, like, you're outside. Yeah, you know man. Saying, like, it's like the right the amount of sweetness and tartness. Yeah. It's a very, it's a well put beer, man. Well, well balanced beer. Green. It's only four and a half, so it's not bad. Mm -hmm. Throw a little rum in there, bro. 
<laughs> All right. Some whiskey. So, over the the break, I guess you can call it, we put out the NGL link, and we got some fun feedback. You know, some fun questions. Nothing crazy. One came up that I thought was a great conversation topic, and it said, "Why do we rate?" mids or Mid, s- middle middle of the road beers. middle of the road beers above a four and i've had this conversation with you folks as well as with many other people in the beer community nationwide so before everybody says oh but that's the people in arizona that's only the people in arizona say that no nationwide different states different cities i've had this conversation with brewers with b- brewery owners uh, bar owners, things like that. And so I want, before we go into this conversation, I want to do a quick round robin and I want to get everybody's, what is, what are the rules, your rules for rating beer? And it doesn't have to be long. Just give us a short, quick, short hit type of thing. And then we just, this is going to set the stage for how you explain how you rate the beers and what you do and all that good stuff. So we'll start with Joe. Joe, without a full essay, just kind of like this is what I this is how I rate it. This is what comes to mind. Boom. I read it how I, how like what my opinion of the fire is. You know, whatever. Like it's, it's my opinion. I don't know. I just be like, yo, this is a three. This is a three. Why okay. is it a three? I mean, I feel because it's it's really sour as it gets warm. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So I'm not too much of a sour head like that. You know what I'm saying? That's my opinion. You know, Hector likes sour, so for him, it's, you know, a better, more elaborate, like, yo, this is this, this is that, you know, he's able to be more in detail in it. Uh, just mm-hmm. go by how I feel. Like, who the fuck is going to tell me what a five is, you know? <laughs> this is what it is. Oh, we've had those conversations. So let's go. <laughs> <laughs> you know, like, but that's your opinion. Like, well, I may yeah. rate a five, he's not going to rate a five, you know what I'm saying? Or you may not rate a five. I don't care. Like, it is what it is. All right. I'm just enjoying the beer. Like a lot of people really take it into like offense that you want to rate a uh, middle of the road beer a four. Mm-hmm. Like, mm-hmm. Nigga, who cares? It's fucking beer, bro. Like <laughs> put your panties in the bunch. Fucking stop. Wow. <laughs> Granly, what is your uh, when you rate the beers? What is your <laughs> what go what's what's your like gauge goes through your mind all that shit? My mind is simple. Do I like it? Okay. And com- and I compare it to other ones that I've had. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Like I've, I, lately, I've been on the the juicy IPA ones, so those are probably going to get a higher rating because that's my wave right now. Mm-hmm. Sours are probably always going to get a fucking one out of me, just because I don't like them. <laughs> that's, it, it is what it is. You know what I'm saying? Everybody has everybody's palate is different. Mm-hmm. Everybody thinks ra- uh, rates differently. And for those of you saying that we rate middle of the road beers, who the hell are you? To say that those are middle of the road beers. Well, we're, we're getting into that. Have, we're getting into that. You have your you opinion. You will snob. I have mine. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So yeah, man. That's it. Simple. Snobs. Hector. What is your what is, how do you how do you measure your scale when you start rating beers? Well, I go into the beer style. Beer style characteristics. Mm. So if it's a hazy IPA, I must you know I need some haze. Um, I'm, I'm expecting some tropical, you know, notes in the nose, um, some body to it, a little bitterness, you know. So I'm actually, you know, going, you know, true to style. Like if it's a Pilsner or a lager, I'm expecting yeah. clarity, you know, sharpness, um, you know, refreshing. You know, so I go more into, you know, the style of the beer. Okay. You know, what it has, you know. That's how I rate my beers, like the taste, you know, taste, obviously taste, you know, and the brewery. Okay. Mm. That's that. We'll stop there. Yeah. We'll stop there. Mm. All right. All right. I'll, I'll wrap it up. I go based on the beer itself. One, I take part of what Hector said. Is the style something that it's, is it matching the style that it should be? You know, is it close? All that good stuff. Um, and two, it comes down to like, do I like it? Do I enjoy it? Do I find it refreshing? Do I find it enjoyable? 
um, mm -hmm. I kind of take a little bit of what Joe does where he's like, I can drink a few of these. So my rating is going to go a little higher. Um, and three, it just comes down to price, in my opinion. Because um, you could pay a lot for good beer. Doesn't necessarily mean that that's the way you're going to go every time. So what's going to fit your budget? What's going to fit not just your budget? What do you want to spend? Like if I want to drink a beer, but I want to be conservative about it, you know what I mean? Maybe I want to drink a little, you know, whatever, you know, maybe a supermarket beer, but maybe I want to be a little bougie today. So I'm going to go out and buy some, you know, some fresh hazy IPAs or stout or whatever it is. Um, so it, it, that plays a part too for me. Uh, now, when it comes to price, let me make it clear. It does make a difference whether I'm buying it from the store or if I'm buying it from the brewery directly. It makes a huge difference because I take into effect the travel and everything else when it gets to the store. So just throwing that out there. All right. So Joe said, oh, Joe, Hector said something that kind of was my first question. Does the brewery matter? Let's start with a quick yes, no around the horn. Yes. To me, yes. Okay. So Hector says yes. Grenly, yes, no. Does the brewery matter? Does the name that it comes from matter? No. It, it um, to me it does because I you know being that I'm more like in depth into the you know into the into the brewing scene, it matters to me because there's a lot of you know elite breweries that have their own yeast strain that they create you know that gives those beers a certain characteristic that that makes them apart from other breweries. Okay. So you let's, know, let's so get... that to me is is dope. Like you know. They make their own yeast strain for these hazy IPAs. Like it's a mm -hmm. the house strain, you know. So it's 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 more 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 uh, in depth for me, All right. you know. When it comes to to brewery, see, you know, to to picking out the brewery. Uh, to me, breweries are, you know, it when um, they make it to a certain level. Like they start creating and making so many um, different things, like techniques and whatnot. So it stands them apart from from the rest. Fuck the world. I vote and score however I feel like it. I don't give a shit who it's from. I don't give a shit what it's about. Um, in my conversations with brewers, they love the honest feedback. If you're giving honest feedback and you're giving it from a place of positive intent, they appreciate it. If you're just sitting there talking shit because they're not as good as monkish beers or other half or treehouse or whatever it is then you're just talking shit it's that simple and that's that's where i'm that's my final statement i guess like just wow, first of all first of all don't i don't come at me with any ratings if you've never had the beer this let's start with the true. basics well, i mean it's true it's true like i like you I know i like certain drink. things you know what i'm saying leave me alone Leave me alone. I'm here. Yo, for you, you haven't <laughs> sang all episodes. That's not true. I, I sang no, in the intro. He started the, the episode. The boys are back in town. And I was, and the oh, yeah, 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 mind, yeah. I was like, why? Why? Oh, man. So let's wrap up this conversation. Hector, what are your final words in this? As a home brewer, as a brewer who's done collab beers, as a person who's worked with other brewers and brewing companies, what is your final statement when it comes to rating beers? Hey, drink your craft beer. <laughs> That's it? Really? Uh, final, final statement is that, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> that is an amazing final statement, bro. <laughs> Whoa. Um, look, final statement is that you get, you get breweries to certain levels by, you know, learning and, and doing doing things that that are different creating and keep working at at the craft man so um brewers um putting in all they work to you know better themselves and better the brewery that they mm -hmm. have so that's that's the main goal making making your brewery the best brewery so you have to focus on yourself and learn and and go back and read the books and go read and do live videos to create your own path to greatness. So keep on brewing and keep everybody, you know, hopping their beers and doing good ass IPAs. Keep on doing everything. Go out the fucking lines and create something different. Do what you gotta do, but make it happen and make your brewery great. So to me,
get your brewery great by just experimenting and learning so many different new techniques that are coming out to the world and every day different that you know make your beer better like i i don't know if you guys heard of phantasm shit that's yes new. bro yes it's like it's like what's that it's like grape grape dust bro that somehow activates your the thials in the hops and make the yeast go wild depending on the yeast that it is it's it's a lot of things that are coming out as technology and and the science evolves it's so much man so i, I, I encourage the brewers to keep learning and keep dabbing at you know whatever it is that you want to create and make your own path to greatness that's it that's so, my last my last statement man joe what are your thoughts sir no <laughs> <laughs> okay, I like good beer. Support craft beer. I support your economy. Support your neighborhood, your mm -hmm. community. Thank you. Whoa, whoa! Can we stop there for a second? Can I just? I want to emphasize exactly what he just said. Support your neighborhood. Support your local craft beer. Just throwing it out there, just emphasizing it. I like that. Hey, yeah. No joda. Mind your fucking <laughs> business, yo. La opinión es tuya, pero la vida mía. It's my beer too, bro. Oh, shit. All right, guys. Listen, that was a good conversation, fun conversation. We will continue our ratings uh, the way we feel fit. Nobody's going to bully us into how we want to rate. And nobody's in, you know... Hey, talk the shit. We're here for you guys to talk the shit. No means and change the way we rate the beer. Eat your tortillas. Can we invite people to make comments on this? Yeah, do if it all the time. Agree, disagree, whatever your your opinion is. We want to hear it. Come at us, bro. Come, come at me, bro. Come at Joe for sure. Pause. <laughs> and if you love burritos, <laughs> drop a one in the comments. <laughs> Burrito Dracula. Uh, all right, guys. Drop listen. One in the comments. It's. Uh, <laughs> If you love burritos, drop a one in the comments. Yo, put burritos on the comments. Yo, that's hilarious. I get rows of burritos. Listen, <laughs> drink good Yo, beer. They got, a, they, got a, they got a burrito emoji? Yeah. Of course. Support, support your local breweries. Support your local breweries. I cannot stress that enough. Support local. All right? Support your local Mexican restaurants. They do some good-ass burritos. Yo, word. Um, Yo, they're they're all, the comments they're if you love burritos. <laughs> they're all over the place here. It's, I mean, there's, there's so many of them. They're so good around here, especially where I'm at. Yeah, I love. I I'll tell you, I wanted this. I love that Mexicans. Yo, get, the Mexicans in Texas gotta be like fucking. You gotta carry them like in a the wheelbarrow, right? Throw it over your shoulder. Yeah. Yo, you gotta go. To, you need <laughs> you help with this. Yo, can you help me carry this in the truck? You gotta go to the mom and pop shop. Yo, the like, Mexi there's, there's Mexicans. There's an old Mexican lady just rolling that shit by hand. I'm telling you. Mexicans out here, they be getting on me because I'm like, yo, those burritos from this place are amazing. They're like, yo, that's not real Mexican food. I'm like, I don't know what to tell you, bro. It's just good. That's all I got to say. <laughs> they be yo, coming at me. I had a... They be coming at me, eating... bro. I was eating a taco at work, and then I put some uh, some sour cream on it just because I wanted some fucking sour cream. Leave me alone. And then uh, <laughs> one of my coworkers, Mexican, Mexican girl, she's like, that's not Mexican. She gave me the dirtiest look, walked away. I was like... <laughs> Like damn, I'm like, like yo, I'm not Mexican. And, you should mind your she, business, yo. And she walked away. <laughs> now I love, I love this, I love this girl, but she was, she was like, that's not Mexican, and she walks off. I will say, sriracha is becoming a very popular condiment amongst Puerto Ricans and Dominicans, and that's the furthest thing from really Caribbean. Yeah, I've been using sriracha, bro, See? for years and years. I love <laughs> sriracha. Well, okay, I didn't say it was, you know, I'm just saying it's coming up. Like people are using it, so. Yeah, it's definitely like that's definitely the opposite of like Caribbean Latino, but it is what it is. Sirachita. Sirachita. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Thank you for listening. Drop the comments. Follow us. Joe Wonder LMP. Star Guida Star Brew. Salute to Brews. And then Max Allotment. Peace, love, chicken grease. We out. Dios. <laughs>